find all possible values of this algebraic expression given that a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals 6. a, b, c are real numbers. It seems that solving this problem is not easy. It's possible that before solving this problem, we might be able to simplify this algebraic expression. We let f of a, b, c equal the given algebraic expression minus a and be written as minus 3a over 3. So the first term can be written as b plus c minus 2a or to the power of 5 over 3 to the power of 5. Similarly, by symmetry, the second and third terms can be written as a plus c minus 2b or to the power of 5 over 3 to the power of 5 and a plus b minus 2c or to the power of 5 over 3 to the power of 5 respectively by symmetry in a b c without loss of generality we assume that a is greater than or equal to b which is greater than or equal to c then b plus c minus 2a must be less than or equal to zero and a plus b minus 2c must be greater than or equal to zero. However, whether a plus c minus 2b is less than or equal to zero or greater than or equal to zero depends on the specific values of a, b, c. Case one, if a plus c minus 2b is less than or equal to zero, then the numerator can be written as minus 2a minus b minus c or to the power of 5 minus 2b minus a minus c or to the power of 5 plus a plus b minus 2c or to the power of 5 plus b plus c minus 2a or to the power of 5 can be written as minus 1 or to the power of 5 times 2a minus b minus c or to the power of 5 minus 1 or to the power of 5 is just minus 1. So we can now write minus 2a minus b minus c or to the power of 5. Similarly, a plus c minus 2b or to the power of 5 can be written as minus 2b minus a minus c or to the power of 5. Now, 2a minus b minus c is greater than or equal to 0. 2b minus a minus c is greater than or equal to 0. a plus b minus 2c is greater than or equal to 0. We can show that the numerator is greater than or equal to 0 because 
x plus y equals the power of 5 minus x to the power of 5 minus y to the power of 5 is greater than or equal to 0. For all x, y greater than or equal to 0. Because x plus y equals the power of 5 can be written as x to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 5 plus some other terms as x, y are greater than or equal to 0. So these other terms must be greater than or equal to 0. So x plus y equals to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 5 minus y to the power of 5 must be greater than or equal to 0. For all x, y greater than or equal to 0, we got 2a minus b minus c equal x and 2b minus a minus c equal y then a plus b minus 2c equals x plus y. So we have minus x to the power of 5 minus y to the power of 5 plus x plus y equals the power of 5, which must be greater than or equal to 0. We've proved that the numerator is greater than or equal to 0. So f of a, b, c is greater than or equal to 0. Is 2 if a plus c minus 2b is greater than 0. By applying Jensen's inequality, we can derive that x to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 5 over 2 is greater than or equal to x plus y over 2 or to the power of 5 for x, y greater than or equal to 0. By applying this inequality, we know that the sum of these two terms is greater than or equal to this term. If we add x equal a plus c minus 2b, y equal a plus b minus 2c, then x to the power of 5 plus y to the power of 5 must be greater than or equal to 2 times x plus y over 2 or to the power of 5. a plus a is 2a minus 2b plus b is minus b c minus 2c is minus c 2 over 2 to the power of 5 is 1 over 2 to the power of 4 b plus c minus 2a or to the power of 5 can be written as minus 2a minus b minus c or to the power of 5. The two terms have a common factor, 2a minus b minus c or to the power of 5 minus 1 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 4 is minus 15 over 16. So we can now write equals minus 15 over 16 times 2a minus b minus 
c equals the power of 5. So we can now write f of a, b, c is greater than or equal to minus 15 over 16 times 3 to the power of 5 times 2a minus b minus c or to the power of 5. How to Schwartz inequality sigma from i equals 1 to n ui bi or squared is less than or equal to sigma from i equals 1 to n ui squared times sigma from i equals 1 to n bi squared. By applying this inequality, 2a minus b minus c or squared must be less than or equal to 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared times a squared plus b squared plus c squared. 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared is 6. We're given that a squared plus b squared plus c squared equals 6. So we can now write equals 6 times 6 as 2a minus b minus c is greater than or equal to 0. So we can now write 2a minus b minus c is less than or equal to 6. So f of a, b, c is greater than or equal to minus 15 times 6 to the power of 5 over 16 times 3 to the power of 5. 6 to the power of 5 over 3 to the power of 5 can be written as 6 over 3 or to the power of 5, which is 2 to the power of 5. <laughs> 2 to the power of 5 is 32. 32 over 16 is 2 minus 15 times 2 is minus 30. On the other hand, f of a, b, c equals minus f of minus a, minus b, minus c. From here, we know that f of minus a, minus b, minus c is also greater than or equal to minus 30. So minus f of minus a, minus b, minus c must be less than or equal to 30. So f of a, b, c is less than or equal to 30. Hence, the given algebraic expression is in the closed interval minus 30, 30. Mm -hmm.